Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to increment a counter using a text label. So in this lens basically what's happening is that every time we tap on the screen the text label is going up by one. So this is good for like keeping score or just basically any kind of count in the lens. So let's start a new project. So we can create a label a couple ways. We can do a label billboard, which means it would be on the orthographic layer, and it would always be out in front here. If we wanted to maybe attach it to the person's head, or you know, have it attached to something else, we would just create a regular label right here. And if we want to attach it to the head, what we can do is create a base sprite, and then we'll just delete the sprite below the binding. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then add the label under it. So you'll see it's kind of down and to the right over there. What we want to do is just make sure that everything is at zero in the positioning. So now it's right at that face center part. If we want to attach it to a different point, let's say let's do the forehead instead. Okay, so now it's up there. Let's, uh, let's adjust the size here, make it a little bigger. There. Now it just says text. Uh, if we're going to make a count, let's just make it say zero to start. Okay, so we have our label ready. Let's just call this label. And then let's add a new script. And then we're going to make sure that we bring in that label into the script. So to do that, we're going to do input component.label. And I'm just going to call it label. And once we apply those changes, let's add a empty scene object here. Let's just call that script. I don't know. Okay, and let's see it's asking for that label now, so let's bring that in there. Okay, so we have our label ready to be referenced. What we want to do is we want to change the text of this label. So if we went into the Lens Studio API and we searched label, and we can click in the API section here, so here's what we can do with the label. We can change all of these different things about it. The size, the shadow, outline, basically any of the customization that you can use on the label is something that you can change with the code. So what we want to do is we want to change the text, which is taking a string. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to first set the default, which is going to be zero. So uh, we would first create the variable t for the count. So let's just do var count and we're going to set that equal to zero. So in order to reference the text, we're just going to do script.label, because that's what we named it right here, and then .text equals, and then this is where we're going to put the string. But because this is a variable, it's a, just a number, it's not uh, an actual text string, we're gonna need to convert it to a text string. And to do that, what we have to do is search in w3schools to string. And this is a method that is built into JavaScript. So you can actually look through w3schools.com because they have a lot of useful functions that are built within JavaScript that you can use in Lens Studio. So you do JavaScript math or also use the date. This would also be a good combination with the label because this is where you could actually put the date in your lens and have it actually change dynamically. So the one that we need though is going to be the two strings so basically all we have to do is create a variable which we did called count and then we have to do another variable and then reference that variable dot to string so let's do that so the text will equal count dot to string so now once we click this nothing's gonna happen but if we change the count variable to say one it's gonna change to one as well so now we have a way to dynamically change that count variable. All we have to do now is just add an event to change it. Um, let's do a tap event. So let's go back into our Lens Studio API. Let's search tap event. And then we'll go down here, copy that script. And then we're just going to paste that right here. And then basically all we need to do really is uh, first we have to increment the count by just typing count plus plus. This means count equals count plus one basically and then we just copy line five in here and update the count so now 
every time we tap, the count's going to go up one. And if we didn't want it to be a tap event, let's say we wanted to make it a more custom event, we could just create a function to do this. So basically, let's just do a function increase count. And then I'm just going to take this out and put it right inside the function. And instead of every time the tap happens, instead we're just going to call that function. So increase count. So it's going to do the exact same thing, but this is a way that you can just call that in any of your other scripts that you have. Alright, well I hope that helps you a little bit here to create maybe some cool game lenses. I would love to see your creations and what you did with this. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And I hope you have fun, and have a good night.